guest here now for an exclusive interview, Dan Levinson, Bob Levinson's son. Dan, thanks for being here tonight uh, to tell your story. And I'll first, I'll, seeing your mother there speaking, I, I know this is incredibly difficult. And here we are 10 years later. How's your family doing? We're just pr keep pressing on. Uh, we're going to keep fighting until he's home with us. So we're, we're just taking it one day at a time and, and figuring out new ways to, to press our administration, press the Iranian government to, to work together to get him home. I know it's been incredibly difficult, and your youngest brother, Doug, was only 13 years old uh, when your father went missing. What is your, what's your message for President Trump tonight? Well, he has the opportunity to do something that the previous two U.S. presidents haven't, uh, weren't able to do. It's bring home the longest held hostage in American history. Uh, he's a deal maker. This is going to require a deal. They need to get to the table with the Iranians, and it's going to take carrots, and it's going to take sticks. And they released a, a statement back in July um, with very strongly worded language, and we appreciate that, but we need follow-up. We need them to be uh, pressuring the Iranians and talking to them at every opportunity. What are you hearing? What are you hearing from them? Um, I, I know that this is something you take on every single day. What, it, what has the correspondence been? Well, we, we're, we're trying to meet with them as much as possible. We go to Washington whenever um, there's an opportunity to meet with top-level officials. Um, they're working on the case. We, we would like to, to uh, be, be hearing more from them and, and making sure that, that it's a top priority from the administration. They have said that in the past, but we need action more than just words. And now here, more than a decade later, your, your, your family is suing uh, to try to get answers and to try to bring your family home. What is, what is your family doing now? Well, that is one of the, the ways we're keeping the pressure on the Iranian government. They have to know we're just we're not going to go away. We're going to keep uh, pushing them until uh, we're going to stay a thorn in their sides until he's home. We know that the supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei, can snap his fingers and say, send Bob Levinson home. My dad would be on the next flight out of there. So we're going to keep uh, pressuring them. Uh, I went over to Iran um, two years ago. We, we went um, a previous trip. And, and we'll go back over if, it, if need be, but we're not going to just stop and give up and, and decide that it's over. What has is, what is your family's thoughts been as, as you've seen now a second week of these violent protests, over 1,000 arrests, more than 20 deaths there, uh, protesting this, this brutal regime that, that you have firsthand knowledge of and experience with? Well, I, I know that uh, it, it, this doesn't impact my dad's case whatsoever. Um, we, we were just an average American family that we don't get involved with the domestic politics of Iran. We're, we're watching everything closely. We're always following events in Iran, and, and we're seeing new opportunities. We're, we're looking for new opportunities to, to keep the pressure on them. Do you believe that they know exactly where your father is? Absolutely. Um, they arrested my dad. Uh, this is a foreign government that has taken an American citizen hostage. They have been uh, uh, misleading and uh, not coming forward with the truth for over a decade now. And we know exactly um, that he was arrested. The U.N. itself found, after the, conducting their own investigation, that my dad was being arbitrarily detained and that he should be released immediately. So everybody knows that the, the Iranians took him. We just need to, to resolve and get them to send him home now. And I know, uh, as Trace just reported, your family's put together a website to try to uh, bring in leads. Has, has anything come from that? Um, we, we get leads, um, but uh, a lot of times it's, it's people who are looking for money or, or just uh, trying to take advantage. And it's been unfortunate. Um, it, it hasn't really produced anything of, of substance. But we, we're going to keep pressing, and we're always checking anytime someone contacts us with information. So There's a $5 million reward out there for, for the Iranians to, any uh, um, Iranian who comes forward with information that leads to getting my dad home, that's a lot of money. So um, we, we, kinda, we keep trying to publicize that and make sure that's known over there. Well, you got your message out tonight, Dan, and we thank you for coming on, and all our best to your family. Thank you for having me, and thank you for keeping the story in the news. All right. All the best.